So thank you, Manos and Manos, uh, for the organization of, su of such a nice Congress. Uh, so my speech will be about our results on a long term um, after open letter jet procedure and comparing it to the arthroscopic uh, bank arch repair. So these are my disclosure not related to this talk. Uh, so today we have different treatment options for anterior shoulder instability. And we choose the technique according to some criteria we heard today. We know that for patients with bone loss, Latergé is surely one valid uh, treatment option. Uh, demand of the patient is also very important. And in the patient who have a sport where he or she applicate high energy against the shoulder in external rotation and abduction, again, Latergé seems, seems to be a great treat treatment option. So demand of the patient and bone loss probably are two of the most important things that we should think about when we choose the technique, the technique for instability repair. According to mostly of the articles, uh, if we compare Latergé to other uh, treatment options for stabilization, Latergé is a clear winner from all point of view. So it seems to be the best for young patients, for old patients, for, for uh, hyperlax patients. And at once you have to ask ourselves, so if we believe to all these articles, why we don't use just Latergé as the only treatment option, we can abandon everything else. Once you're fast, you can take less than 40 minutes. So there is something that we should know and we should take care, and this is the complication. So the, the things that we are most afraid are complication after Latergé. And we know which are those complications, and they could be very, very severe, and we must be afraid about them. So these are all our patients, or young patients, and when you see this, you get some doubt about all this excellence uh, of Latergé procedure that we read in articles. I don't want to say that after bank heart repair, uh, it's impossible to have heart complication. This is a case of a young guy, uh, 40 years old, who had uh, arthroscopic stabilization, and the anchors, metal anchors, was put a little bit too close to the mid portion of the joint, and once we removed those anchors, <laughs> there was no glenoid anymore. So the only possibility was to put inside the metal back, and we know in young patients with metal back what will happen after 15 or 20 years, a disaster. So this was the reason why we did a study where we compare 140 patients with Latergé to 140 patients with a banker repair, a prospective study, and we look at arthrosis, instability, and at, and at, uh, at internal rotation. Uh, what we find out, uh, external rotation, sorry, what we find out, uh, we found out uh, nothing new. So if we look at uh, the articles, most of those, those things uh, was already written. The only things that was uh, interesting was the osteoarthritis. So we find higher amount of osteoarthritis in arthroscopic repair than in Latergé on long follow-up. If you look a little bit closer, uh, we find out that... Uh, the number of uh, new dislocations, uh, the number of art uh, new arthrosis uh, was around 6%. Uh, we look just at higher degrees of arthrosis, so third to second, uh, third, uh, second, third and fourth degrees of arthrosis. And we find out that the progression of pre-arthrotic changes was seen in all the patients with Latergé. So if you had a patient in which you want to do a Latergé and he has some degrees of arthrosis preoperatively, he will sure develop on long term a more severe arthrosis. So we must be aware about that. And, and another thing, all untreated patients with Latergé, with dislocation after Latergé, they will surely develop arthrosis. So we should treat this patient if, if they dislocate after Latergé as soon as possible. What the literature said about that? Uh, that after arthroscopic bank heart repair, you will have on long term more osteoarthritis than after Latergé. Uh, why? I go a little bit into detail about that. One reason it's possible that around uh, 2009, the all suture anchors come into the market. And everything that was done priorly to that was metal anchor or um, uh, resorbable anchor. And several articles today exist about that, that this could be one reason 
for uh, for uh, post-operative arthrosis. Okay, we know that age at first dislocation, number of dislocation prior to surgery are all, all important risk factor to develop post-operative osteoarthritis. Uh, what about the number of redislocation? Uh, as I told before, uh, around 6% um, were mostly of those was due to trauma. So if we put also this cuff tear here into trauma, we have around 5% uh, reason of redislocation after La Terger. And what jump out? Epileptic patient and untreated hypoglycemic uh, patient, so untreated diabetic patient, uh, frequently go into redislocation after Latage procedure. So sometimes it's impossible to do any other procedure than Latage or any other bone, blo bone procedure in the patient with epilepsy. We should treat them somehow. Uh, what the literature said about the redislocation nothing new, so it's clearly that uh, uh, arthroscopic stabilization have much, much more redislocation than Uh What about internal, um, uh, what about the strength in internal rotation? Uh, today we know that uh, subscapularis may, if we damage him, we might have, due to this dysfunction, due to atrophy, or due to fat infiltration. This is a video of one professional climber, one year after La Terge procedure. He was operated on his right arm. He have better mobility than on the opposite side. One very interesting thing is arthroscopic La Terge. We started doing, and now we are slowly, uh, don't do it anymore. Why? One of the reasons is the subscapularis. Because with uh, open procedure, you are very careful with the fibers, how you divide them. But again, this is a thing of uh, training and of experience. Uh, what about the strength in internal rotation? Uh, several articles were written about that. Today it's clearly that if you detach completely the subscapularis and you reattach back, you always give, have some degree of loss of in strength if internal rotation. Sometimes the patient neither don't feel it. And also there was some article uh, from uh, 98 from Picard who analyzed the subscapularis after La Terge procedure and he found some small degree of reduction in internal rotation in strength, but again, uh, not clinically relevant. So in conclusion, what can I say? Uh, osteoarthritis uh, after La Terge, it's slightly, slightly lower than after bunker repair. The number of redislocation after uh, bank at repair it's higher and the strength there is some reduction in internal rotation but again clinically uh, not important the most important things are complications that are surely more severe than atroscopic repair and at the end i would like to invite you to the tuza for this year shoulder knee and shoulder course thank you thank you